Physical therapy as a profession dates back to the early to mid 1800s, when the term physiotherapy was first used to describe working with injured athletes, more specifically gymnasts. Over time, the profession evolved from humble beginnings, and with that came increased educational demands. In the 1950s, physical therapists went from being considered technicians to professional practitioners. In the United States, education requirements went from a bachelor's degree to a master's degree and now to a doctoral degree. As of 2015, all accredited and developing physical therapist programs in the United States are doctoral programs, with the earliest offering of a doctoral program by Creighton University back in 1993. And of course, with the increased education comes increased cost. As of the most recent numbers, the average cost of a public school doctor of physical therapy degree was $66,074. And the average total cost of a private school doctor of physical therapy degree was $113,497. I've run the numbers of every PT school in the US and compared that to average salary data for physical therapists. So the real question is, in 2021, is it worth it to become a physical therapist? Let's face facts. College tuition is becoming increasingly expensive. In only 40 years, the average cost of college, including tuition and room and board, has increased over 150% for both the public and private four-year universities. And that's just the cost of the undergraduate degrees. The average cost of undergraduate degrees ranges from $38,320 for a four-year public college all the way up to $148,000 for a four-year private college. And since physical therapy is a doctoral degree, the applicant is usually required to have their four-year undergraduate degree before applying to the three-year graduate program. There are obviously exceptions to this rule, like direct entry colleges and accelerated programs that are only two years in length. But in general, expect to be in school for seven years if you get into a physical therapy program right away. Next is salary. I'm going to make an entire video on salary breakdowns for physical therapy, but the short of it is that according to the PT Pulse, the average PT salary across all settings in 2020 was $84,450 with a standard deviation of $13,334. So that means that 68% of the physical therapists that responded in the data set had a salary range from $71,116 up to $97,784. And finally, the cost of physical therapy school. As I mentioned, I went through and made a list of every PT school that was accredited and put it into an Excel file and calculated the total cost of tuition. There's a download link in the description below if you'd like to see it. <laughs> Just a quick note, I would bet money on the fact that I made a math error along the way or wrote so something down wrong. If you find an error, let me know in a comment below and I'll fix it. From my calculations, after averaging all 260 accredited physical therapy schools, the average total cost of PT tuition I calculated was $102,280. That was across all public and private schools. And I found some interesting data. 113 PT schools had a total tuition cost of less than or equal to the average starting salary of a physical therapist in the United States. And of those, only 31 schools had out-of-state tuition that was less than or equal to the average PT salary. The lowest cost for PT school was Army Baylor. Students actually get paid $41,000 per year to attend Army Baylor, receive stipends, and have guaranteed job placement. That's really hard to beat. Now, obviously, you have to enlist in the United States Army and it is not my intention to persuade anyone to do so. But if you are someone who has an interest in serving the country and wants to be a physical therapist, this seems like the ideal scenario. Outside of enlisting in the US military, there are some very low cost options out there. Before we begin, these are all in-state tuitions for the total program cost. 
First is Eastern Carolina University, coming in at an amazing $21,366. Next is the University of North Texas, that comes in at $25,400. Georgia Southern is next at a $29,862 tuition. Texas Women's University comes in at $32,876. As you can see from this spreadsheet, there are numerous universities that come in at $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 total for the tuition for the entire cost of the program. Now these are all in-state tuitions and you can see that there's a huge differential between in-state and out-of-state. But something that I found interesting was there are a few programs out there like for Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University that seem to be relatively low out-of-state costs compared to their in-state costs, which is not a trend that is all that common when you compare in-state versus out-of-state tuition. As you can clearly see, the in-state tuition for colleges is substantially lower than out-of-state tuitions. Which brings me to my first point. When looking for physical therapy schools, I recommend applying to any in-state public universities that are accredited first. Next would be out-of-state public universities and finally private schools. At this point, I've thrown a lot of numbers and data at you, but let's try to make logical sense of all of that data. Here are some totals I've put together that show the average calculations of what I found. The above combines undergraduate costs with graduate school costs and keeps in mind the average PT salary. The best financial case is a public four-year university combined with enrolling in Army Baylor at a total cost of $38,320 for seven years of school. The worst financial case is going to an average four-year private school with the highest cost doctor of physical therapy school tuition, bringing your total to a staggering $354,000 565. The average cost scenarios of a public university with a public DPT school would run you approximately $93,490 for total tuition. As a general rule of thumb, if you can keep your total debt to income ratio to less than or equal to 1.0, ideally anyway, I think you're in pretty good shape. For reference, when I graduated, I had $94,000 in debt total with a starting salary of around $72,000. And that was back in 2012. I made a video about my loans that you can see here, but I also did an extra year of undergraduate to increase my GPA because mine was on the terrible uh, end <laughs> of the spectrum, my first year of undergrad. Um, but that's for another video as well. In conclusion, is it worth it to go to PT school in 2021? The answer is not simply a binary decision. You could come out of seven years of college with as little as $38,000 in debt, all the way up to $354,000 in debt. The average physical therapist could reasonably expect to pay down $38,000 without major financial stress, while $354,000 would likely be an insurmountable number that you would be better off trying to get student loan forgiveness for than actually paying down the total debt of the loan. I declare bankruptcy! In my, maybe biased, opinion, physical therapy school is financially worth it if you are able to keep your debt to income ratio less than or equal to 1.0 in an ideal situation, you understand compounding interest, you understand how much your loan will cost you in interest over time, as well as how much you will have to pay back on a monthly basis. And you also understand the opportunity cost of a seven year doctoral program. Something that else that is important is that you love the profession of physical therapy and that you are open to working in specialties that perhaps pay more, picking up as needed PRN jobs to pay your loans more quickly, um, as well as considering something like a travel job for higher pay or perhaps you want to open your own practice. Another qualification is that you've spent time becoming financially literate, have a budget, and an overall plan. In my opinion, physical therapy school is probably not financially worth it if you are just in it for the money, the title, or the degree, you accrue massive amounts of debt greater than two times debt to income ratio that you will struggle to pay off over the long term, 
You don't have a plan, a budget, or financial literacy on how to dig yourself out of debt. If you're one of the many that do go to an expensive private school for undergraduate and grad school, you should consider taking a travel job, home health, or working an extra PRN job to pay down your debts a little faster. Or even consider a loan forgiveness option if that's available based on your employment. If you're not willing to consider some or all of those things, it's probably not going to be worth it for you from a financial perspective. And one more final caveat that I want to mention, I'm speaking purely from a financial perspective here, not from a job satisfaction perspective. But that's all just my opinion. Let's actually look at some research. A paper by Shields in 2018 did some modeling of how physical therapy school compares to other professions. The study looked at what's called the net present value or NPV of various professions. NPV is a cost benefit analysis approach that models the monetary difference between the benefit to be gained, for example, lifetime salary, and the cost required to obtain the benefit, for example, educational cost. It does take into account time and opportunity cost. In the paper, they compared the NPV of healthcare professionals. The higher up on the chart, the better the NPV. As you can see, anesthesiology and surgery are at the very top of the list. Nurse practitioner and physician assistant are extremely high up on the list as well, which are some common alternative career paths that tend to be suggested when looking at uh, the healthcare field. Physical therapy actually ranks around internal medicine with no college debt, so in a perfect case scenario, uh, to just below dentistry with the average debt around uh, $90,000 for a physical therapy school. PTs on average come out up slightly above occupational therapy, a bachelor's degree, veterinary medicine, and chiropractic. However, as the debt starts to mount, the NPV becomes closer to a bachelor's degree around the $250,000 mark. In the paper, they state that the benefits of the DPT degree begin to erode at a cost of around $150,000 in debt. Uh, but I would recommend running the numbers against your own comparisons. And as one last reminder, don't choose a career solely based on financial gain, but always consider the financial consequences of any decision that you make. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That Excel spreadsheet took me longer than I wanted to admit, uh, but once I had started it, it sort of drives me nuts to not finish projects like that. If you got some value from this video, please consider leaving me a like. It really helps my channel out and I genuinely appreciate it. If you want to see more physical therapy videos, tap on that subscribe button below. It won't actually help you decrease your debt to income ratio, uh, but you might learn something along the way. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.